Hey guys, Scott Patton here, and this is what's happening on Chickamauga. You know, we're going on about the mid part of April. Um, a lot's happened. You know, we had cold fronts come in, the fish start to move shallow. I seen a bunch of, uh, I seen several fish on bed, and all of a sudden we had a cold front come in. Uh, it pulled a lot of them off and they left out, out of the shallows and uh, had to kind of move off and catch some fish on the channel banks but uh, now it's warm back up the last two or three days I think here in a day or two it's supposed to get another 40 degree night I don't think it'll hurt them that much I think we're kind of on an upswing right now I wish the water would come up a little bit more than what it is but it's right at the predicted pool for this time of year but here are some of the baits I've been catching my fish with and uh, I'm telling you it's been changing kind of fast but uh, the, the, the baits that I've done my the best with is probably is going to be the jackhammer okay uh, I've been using this one right here that's a golden shiner color you guys it's a real good bait down here on Chickamauga if you come down here it's got the gold blade and stuff but uh, I'm throwing this thing on uh, 17 pound test cigar I've been fishing a lot of grass uh, if you find a real good green grass that seems to be the best and I'll catch them in from four foot deep all the way into as far back as I can go into a foot foot and a half uh, deep and I think we're gonna start seeing more of course we're gonna have more and more fish move back into these areas uh, but I'm just I'm just fishing this thing just a slow you know a slow roll or uh, in, into that grass but it's been really been key to make sure this is hitting the grass um, I've had some guys that just wasn't used to fishing that way and they couldn't get the bites that I was getting But all of us just getting that rhythm down where you're gonna hit that grass and you're gonna jerk that thing out Out of that grass and that's when a lot of times you're gonna get that reflex strike So uh, if you're not making contact with the grass and you're fishing this thing uh, You probably won't get the bites uh, They've been really kind of stubborn to get to pull up and, and hit a fast moving bait But every day it seems like it's getting better and better but um, the Golden Shiner has been good. And I'm throwing this on a seven foot pile rod. It's a medium heavy. You know, I like a little bit of tip in, in, in the rod, but, uh, but to, in order to, to get that, to get that uh, bait to jerk out of that grass, you're gonna have to have some backbone in it, you guys. You have a real limb, limber rod, you're just not gonna be able to jerk it out of there quick enough and rip it free of the grass. Or you're gonna get hung in the grass, you're gonna pull it, all you can do is pull the grass out. You gotta be able to jerk this thing really hard and jerk it out of that grass, uh, and then just kinda kill it for a second or two and just start reeling again. And that's usually when I've been getting my bites in the bigger bites. You know, we've had a couple fish, probably about six pounds, haven't caught, had any, any giants. I've uh, been getting some lot of good quality fish, two and three quarter to three and a half, four pounders and stuff on this. And, uh, but it's been a good bait. It's usually been best early in the morning and on cloudy, uh, cloudy or windy days. Uh, you, it's easier to get that reaction strike. But uh, again, um, I'm doing that in that golden shiner color. And also the, uh, I'm not for sure, I can't remember what they call this one here. It's kind of like a clear shad or something like that and uh, i've been catching them on that one there too and well i got a gold blade on it i had to switch that blade out with another jackhammer head because it doesn't come with a gold blade it comes with a nickel blade but i swapped those blades out and if you don't know how to swap them out on your jackhammers you guys i got another video that you can uh, go to that i explain how to change that change those out and stuff and uh you know a lot of times you know i, I just I want that gold blade on all these baits, especially on these overcast, cloudy days. All right, so you know that's been my best, uh, best bait. I've been catching some fish. I lost a good one actually today on spinner bait, and uh, again I'm still fishing the grass with this. Um, I just been kind of burning it pretty fast on top of the water, and if I see that grass, I'm, again I'm trying to hit that grass, hit those grass clumps, and jerk it out of there. Uh, we had a couple more fish on a smaller spinner bait today. But, uh, but it's, you know, I seem like I've been getting some of the, the better quality fish that I've caught on a spinnerbait. On this is a half ounce, one that I make you guys. I tan them uh, nickel blades on it. Uh, we're gonna try some gold. And, and, and this spinnerbait bite is something that just started happening in the last day or two. So, uh, and, and you know, this is a good, good lake for a spinnerbait. And so, you know, that's one of those things I'm gonna be throwing every day for the next week or so. But uh, that bait's been working good. You know, again, I'm throwing all, you know, most all this stuff I'm going to throw in 17 or 20 pound test Seaguar Abrasix uh, line. My spinner bait, I got this on a seven foot 
medium heavy um, this is a this is actually a, yeah a medium fast but I like that right there because like I say I want to be able to jerk that bait out of that grass and, and make it come off from the bait not hanging the bait okay and a lot of times if you're hanging in the bait guys you're because your rod is too stiff okay and you're gonna make a really quick snap to get that uh, get that bait to jerk free in that grass and uh, uh, to get those fish to trigger and, and hit because we're getting a lot of pressure down here we're gonna keep on getting it through spring it's always busy down on Chickamauga in the springtime uh, you know real famous I mean, well-known bait down here I don't know if famous is really the right word or not, but a, a, a really good bait down here and easy to fish. It's probably one of the easier swim baits to fish. Is this the Magdraft? Um, this is a six inch model. I do have some of the eight inch I throw it in too, but I've been catching some fish on this all the way in the box of the pockets and stuff like that where them fish are going to go back there and spawn. They haven't, they haven't really gone into the built beds yet, but they're staged in those areas. Again, I'm fishing the grass. But I'm throwing this on 20 pound test line. I got it on a uh, PAL. Uh, this is a 7.6. Uh, it's more or less a flipping stick, but you want something with a good handle on it, something that you can uh, get a grip of those, you know, those big fish. If you get a, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten pounder on it, you got to have a rod that will handle those, especially when you're fishing around the grass or lay down trees and stuff like that, because you want to try to get him out of there as fast as you can away from that, that lay down tree. Or in the grass, he's a guy to be able, to, you know, have some muscle to get get those fish out and get them in the boat. So, uh, but that mag draft is something you definitely want to be throwing in the next uh, probably the next 30 days. I love this bait, and again, like I said, it's one of the easier baits to uh, swim baits to catch fish on down here on Chickamauga. Okay, so uh, another bait that has kind of saved my butt on the tough days. You know, last week we've had uh, several calm days. Slick, sunny, not a cloud in, in the sky, and I've, that's when I've gone to my spinner rod and I've been throwing a uh, <clears throat> a uh, little crawfish. I just got this. This is a Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. I've done real good with that. I actually hooked a good one the other day and it broke me off. I probably had some fray in my line. That's something else you want to do when you're dragging this thing across those gravel banks and stuff. You guys, you got to watch that line right there because you know. If it's if it's knocking that paint off from that lead head that's been baked on there, then it's it's going to still fray that first little quarter inch of that line, and even your knot it get damaged to it. So make sure you don't uh, go no more than a couple hours and retie this thing just because you, you know you're dragging it and you got to make contact with it. That little eighth it's an eighth ounce ball. Um, head and I like that because it's, it's just kind of it will just kind of flutter over that gravel and stuff like that instead of you drop falling in there real hard you know and, and getting lodged in some of the uh, rocks and everything down there but I've done really good with that we've had some really good days uh, you know catch 25 plus fish days on these especially if you're throwing it on a cloudy day it's been really good I've been throwing this more on the channel banks the last channel bank back in the creeks or in some of the uh, smaller pockets on the uh, gravel banks that may, you know, you may throw it up on the shore and my boat's sitting in about five foot deep. Those have been re working real well. And you can also fish it a little bit deeper in those kind of places and all the way up to a foot and a half of water. Now you get an area where there's a lot of grass and stuff, this bait isn't gonna work well because it's gonna hang on you and you're just gonna be fighting the grass all, all day with it. But if you're around wood and gravel and stuff like that, which we got a lot of, you want to throw this little uh, eighth ounce jig head with that crawfish and i've also been I've done real well with a uh, uh six inch worm just a shaky head worm this is actually a um, zoom trick worm for what this is there's a green pumpkin uh back with some red flake and a, a blue belly it really does real well it's got a little tip on the end of that right there it's done good but uh, we've caught a lot of fish on that. And then I've caught them on several different colors. So it's not just one color um, you want to play with. You know, I've, I've kind of caught them almost every color, but uh, this is one that's really has worked well for me down here on Chick on Chickamauga. And uh, you know, you can find this stuff down here at the tackle store down here in Dayton. And uh, you know, it's just something that you want to fish a real slow, real finessey and uh, don't get no big hurry with it. 
but it's gonna catch a fish. It's gonna be one of the easier things, especially on these tough days, bright sunny days and stuff, that you're gonna catch these fish on. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, when you're fishing that, just make sure you don't go too fast. I'm throwing it on 15 pound test braid, and I've got a, get this untangled here, I've got a 12 pound test leader on it, while I'm going with. Uh, you can't go too heavy on that leader because it kind of kills action because like I said that's just an eight ounce head but uh, this will catch this with a worm is going to catch your fish if you're having a tough time getting to catch anything you're down here fishing for over the weekend or something like that you guys put on this little finesse head eight ounce head with these a uh, couple of these baits and just slow down go in the creeks and fish it and you'll catch fish I'm telling you it'll catch them but uh, as of right now, you know, I think we are going to have a bunch of fish move up, start spawning, staying nice. We've had some fish already spawn. I've seen one the other day. We were fishing around the dock. I saw, you know, the male was there and uh, the female was there. She's probably about seven. The male was about two pounder. But, you know, that cold front come through and I'm telling you, them fish were gone the next day. And uh, several beds I saw that were empty. So I don't know uh, how many really spawned. They may have had more spawn down the lower end of the lake and, uh, you know, the Harrison Bay area and all that stuff. I haven't been that far yet this year, but uh, from from Elders Bay all the way up the river, I've been fishing and I've caught fish. You know, every day. Of course, some days are a little bit tougher than others, but sometimes it's due to conditions and all. But anyways, guys, I hope this has helped you out. I appreciate you subscribing. I'll try to put another one of these out here in about 10 days as things change. I'll try to keep you on top of things. Fishing's been good. It's not been great, to be honest with you. I've had some good, you know, really good days. But then sometimes, you know, like the next day, it's just a tough bite. And it's just, I can't explain why, but it's just, just, you know, the weather's been bouncing up and down. And um, I think, like I said, once this, this weather stabilizes out and the water starts coming up, of course, we're going to start having some really, really good fishing, you guys. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Again, subscribe. Leave a comment, you guys. Like the video. And if you see me on the water, give me a shout. And uh, good luck to you on your fishing, guys. I appreciate it a lot.